Hey guys, Marty Bostic here again with another training video for you. This one we're going to be talking about in just the next few minutes on the proper way to work with leads, build trust, build a rapport with people that don't know you and you don't know them and, and how to kind of take that first step to, uh, to reach out to these people. So hang with me for just a few minutes. Go ahead and smash and kill the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're seeing this on YouTube. And I will go ahead and dive right in and show you how I reach out to these leads, okay? So let's go ahead and look at it. So inside the Team Build Club platform, you get access to free leads. You get 200 free leads uh, as people join after you join. You can see that I've had 2,871 people join since I joined on the 19th of September. It is now the 26th of September. So there's also paid members that have joined. I am focusing on the paid members first and I'll work my way back to the free members. Why am I doing that? Because the paid members have a vested interest in this platform just like you. They've already spent money. You already know that this buyer's list, and that's what it is, is a customer's list. These are all people that have spent money or money has changed hands for them to get an upgraded position in Team Build Club. Those are great. Those are fantastic leads. Why? Because you already know they have money to spend. Focus on building the trust. Build that rapport with these people. It's just like building a relationship with a friend. Don't don't hard pitch them. Would you would you take somebody that that you don't know and reach out to them just on first glance, say, hey, join my opportunity. Hey, join my business. They don't know you. They don't have a trust with you. They don't have any clue who you are. You're just a person off the street. It's no different than just walking down the street. So I'm, I'm starting to see that, that pattern, which, which is typical, where people will go through these lists of leads and they'll reach out to me and, and just spam me with their business opportunity. Or they might say, hey, I'm, I'm your upline in Team Build Club. Bam, 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 join my stuff. Not going to do it. I will not do it. I don't know you. I don't trust you. We haven't communicated. Okay, so it's important to build that communication, to build that rapport, and, and establish the trust. The business stuff comes later, okay? Take your time with these leads. You don't, this is not a marathon. You don't have to take these leads and, oh my God, I got to contact them before somebody else does. No, everybody's already contacting these people. It's how you position yourself and you talk to these people that makes the difference, okay? So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It, it's probably a little bit more elaborate process than, than most of you do, but I've been a marketer for three decades, okay? So I'm also a professional IT nerd, so I do a lot of this stuff. You don't have to be as fancy as I am with it, but I want you to understand the, the concept behind it and what I'm doing to build that trust. One, video does very well. It costs you nothing to do video. You could do it with YouTube. You can do it from your phone, however you want to do it. If you don't want to get in front of a camera, that's fine. You can send an email. That's okay. But you want to do a mutual introduction for you and, and the lead and tell them how you're connected. Let them know in the subject line that you're from Team Build Club. Let them know you're their upline. Let them know why you're contacting them and see what you can do to help them. Not you. Don't talk about your crap. Don't talk about your business. Ask them what you can do to help them. Ask them about their business because they're in it for them. Okay, if, if you lower the guard and, and you lower that, and, and you start to build the trust, then what you want to do is find out what they're interested in. Find out more about them. Because, you know, I look at it like this. A, an old marketer, old school marketer told me that, you know, anybody that comes in, you treat them as a suspect first. Because you don't know them, they don't know you. You eventually turn them into a prospect from a suspect after you qualify them. Well, what I've put in place is a qualification process. I'm using a video welcome introduction, whether I've recorded it on my phone or I'm doing it on a camera. I'm going to show you some examples in just a minute. I'm using a platform that I purchased a few years ago, the Adobe platform that I'll put a link down below in the description of this video. But you don't have to use this. You could just, YouTube is free. You could come over here and, and do it. Uh, you could create an account with YouTube, create a video for each of these people. And just mark it as unlisted. It don't have to be public out there for other people, but just let them know there's a real person on the other end of it. If you want to do video, it's a great way to do it. It's a good way to lower the guard when you're sending an email to somebody if you put a personal video in there where it's personalized. I don't mean a cookie cutter one. 
I'm taking the time with these leads to welcome and introduce myself to each person by name, okay? I'm taking my time. I'm not in a hurry. I didn't even start contacting these paid leads until a couple of days ago. What That wasn't the most important part. The most important part for me was building a foundation, getting the team established, and then starting to reach out to these people and, and expand the team further. These are all people. Just remember, they don't want to be pitched about Team Build Club. They're already in it. That's how you got the leads, okay? But the same process works for any system where you're working with a cold lead. And I consider them cold leads because you've never made contact with them before. You don't know who they are unless you've directly sponsored them somehow and you've already talked with them. They don't know you. You don't know them. So you've got to warm them up. You have to build an introduction. You have to build a friendship with them, okay? Don't get upset if people don't respond to you or they don't want to join your opportunity or maybe... You know, you know, maybe you've you've asked them about their stuff, but they're not interested in hearing about your stuff. That's okay. I don't even talk about a business venture with any of these videos or welcome emails that I'm doing. I just talk about how I can help them and in try and get them over into the team build group so that we can chat further and, and have more discussion. But I use video in the introductory email and an actual chat bot as a filtration process. The goal there is to get them to give me permission in the end to either A, go in a list that is relative to building out a team and moving forward, or B, getting a freebie, getting a free item as, as a consolation for just, hey, thanks for giving me your time. Can I offer you a free gift on the way out, basically? And I put them in another list, but they're giving permission either way. I'm not just shoving them in a list. I'm not emailing the crap out of people and raising the spam rate for myself. So so my goal is to, one, not get in the spam bucket. Two, treat them as a friend and, and build that, that, that trust. And then we'll take the next step from there. They can always opt out after they've opted in, but I, I do this in a way where they choose to be on my list and they choose to hear from me in one way or another. And I let those tools work through automation to weed these folks out. Again, you don't have to be this sophisticated with it. You don't have to do all those things with it. Even if it's just an email, if you just send them an email, don't pitch them. Don't give them a bunch of crap. If you want to give them something for free, that's fine, but don't do it in your face. Spend the time on the first email, <coughs> excuse me, letting them know who you are and see what you can do to help them and ask more about them. That's a great icebreaker and conversation starter, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing to approach these leads, okay? So first and foremost, these are emails I've sent out. This is how I'm phrasing these. I might not always use the same verbiage in the subject line, but, but let's just talk about it for a minute. So here's one of the ones that's in the paid members. I got this guy from the network of paid downline details. Again, I'm starting with all the paid ones first. I'll work my way back to the free ones later. So I worked my way down to that guy, I got to him, I got his contact info over here because he's available to me. I looked to see where he's from, where he or she is from, what country are they from? Because I leveraged that in the video so I let them know, hey, I'm paying attention to who you are. I want to know who you are and it's great that we can talk for people in different hemispheres. I tell them I'm in the U.S. and Alabama and, and just kind of, let's just keep it casual. So in the email, Detroit is this person's name and I put... My name is Marty Bostic, and I'm your upline and team build club. I just wanted to just wanted to reach out and introduce myself and see what I can do to help you, help you. Okay, not me. I don't I don't want to reach out and say, hey, let's see what we can do to help me. No, they don't want they don't want to help you because they don't know you. So I'm letting them know that I'm there to help them. And let's you know, I want to know more about what their business opportunity is. Tell me more about your business, and I'll let them know that there's a button inside this video to chat with me, okay? So what I've done is I constructed a chat bot using a tool called ConvertoBot. I'll put those links in there. There's a million of these solutions out there, but I'm, I'm using what's working for me. But they're all filtration layers to get a better quality lead. I only want the ones that are gonna come through the other end, right? So here I've personalized the video. I recorded this video for you, Datron, okay? And then when when he opens the video, you know, I'll get my signature and my email. When he opens it, I'll let it play through and you can see exactly what I do. 
Hi, Dedrone. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. My name is Marty Bostic. I am your upline in Team Build Club. And I just wanted to reach out and personally connect with you and, and talk with you and, and see what I can do to help you move your business forward and, and learn more about what you're doing and what your business opportunity is. So I'm located in the U.S. and Alabama. I believe you are in the U.S. as well. And um, feel free to connect with me down inside this video. Just below it, you'll see a little button where you can click on that and chat with me. I'd, I'd love to hear from you, learn more about your opportunity, and see what we can do to help one another. So I'll talk with you soon. I, I, uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So that's all I did in the video. That's uh, All of these are you know less than a minute. That one's 36 seconds. Very simple, very personalized. I used his name. I took the time. Remember me saying take the time with these leads? I took the time to talk with him. Make sure I knew where he was. Some of these I, I knew right off the hand. That particular guy, I didn't know for sure he was in the U.S., but, but I'll, you know, if they're in Germany or Australia or New Zealand, wherever, I'll point that out. That I've basic, and what that is is a, a subconscious trigger that somebody's paying attention to you, that they are paying attention to who you are. And I do care. I want to know where they're from. And it also helps me understand up front if there may be a potential language barrier or some other things that, that might get in the way of our conversation. So I have to consider that when I'm communicating with them. Now, so let's say Daytron wants to talk with me. I've got a chat button here. What I do, this is, this is step one. They open the email. Step two, they watched the video. Step three, they're going to initiate a chat with me. So these are all micro commitments from the lead along the way to, to get them further along in the process to being a qualified lead. So here's what happens. I'm going to show you the whole chat sequence. So I have a chat bot with my profile image on it so they know it's me. Thanks for reaching out to me. I'd really like to learn more about your business and what you are promoting. Just to keep things on a first name basis, again, my name is Marty. Can I get your first name? So I'm collecting information about the lead. Even though I, I knew who the lead was when I sent it to them, I might not know when they come through the chat bot until they do this. What are they doing in this, this process? I am warming this process up in this qualification stage to gather their name and to gather their email. Okay. They are going to ultimately give me permission to go in a list one way or the other, or they're going to walk away. Does it matter to me? The people that come through the other side are the ones that I want to talk to in the first place. If they end up going on the no route to the free free item and they choose to get it, I've got a follow-up sequence that's about a year and a half long. Okay, So I put them in a funnel that's a known, tested, money-making funnel that I might make money from this person months down the road. But I got them in my list. I'm building a list of people that have said they want to be contacted by other people. See where I'm going? This is the important part. What I want to do is see if this person wants me to help them grow their business. They might be interested in other ventures in my team, other opportunities. There's other ways to make money with this person and for me to help them make money. That's not my goal up front. So I'm not hard selling anybody on anything. Have you seen anything in this so far? Ask yourself, has Marty done anything in this so far to ask them to spend money or to do anything other than just communicate. Nope, that's all we're doing right now. Let's build the trust, so let's continue forward. So I'm just gonna put Susie is the first name, okay? So then the chat bot responds. I've got the sequence set up. It says, excellent Susie, glad to connect with you. I was serious at my welcome video. Notice I'm connecting the two. I would love to know more about your business that you're promoting. So can you tell me a little bit more, more about what you do? And well, let's just say um, I sell cosmetics, okay? So I respond, very cool. As a professional marketer, one of the things I specialize in is team building and teaching others how to do the same. Most of our collaboration is done in our team build groups. So I'm kind of letting them know what's coming up here. I provide a ton of marketing tools and resources to our team to help them uh, promote whatever their business is that they're working. So I'm letting them know that I provide resources and tools to help you promote your business. I'm not talking about my business. I'm talking about how I'm helping you. Would you like to visit our group for free and let us help you? Okay, so I'm asking them that question. This is the crossroads. This is where I segment the user, the subscriber, to go into one or the other list. 
If they say yes, then I tell them, okay, great. Before you visit our group, let's get a few details from you and get you started, okay? So they've already made that micro commitment. They've clicked on the button that says, yes, I, I want to go learn more about your group. So first, let me know what your best contact email, or let me know your best contact email, not your spam one. This is important. I'll tell you why in a moment. But the best one to, you know, this is the best email to keep keep you connected in case, um, oh, let me, re sorry, I'm trying to paraphrase here. First, let me know your best contact email, not a spam one, but the best one to keep you connected with our team and training, our team building training. The reason being is a lot of times people will use spammy emails or catch all emails in these platforms to limit how much they have to pay attention to that, that get real noisy. What you help do here at this point is lower the guard where they give you their best contact or personalized email that, that they might pay attention to. That's what you're doing here. You're using another micro commitment and subliminal trigger here to get the person to give you the better email. I get that a lot. I get people's emails that end up being not what they signed up for or show up as a lead. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to go pick one of my other emails. Marty at... So at this point, behind the scenes and the automation in this chat bot, I just added them to a list and sent them an email. Done. I got them over in an Aweber account for this one. Okay, it says, uh, okay, great, Susie. Now I've just sent you some details um, on our team build over to your inbox for you to review later in case we get disconnected. Now, when you get to the team build group, you will receive a standard greeting. So I tell them what's gonna happen when they get in my Telegram group where they're at. So please type the following hashtag and hit enter when you get there. This will let us know you're, the from, you're from the team build group platform. Well, I put an automation in place in the, the Telegram group. When this hashtag gets typed and entered, then it will give them another piece of a welcome and it'll tell everybody in the group that's where this person came from, that they just came through this chat bot. So either myself or one of the other moderators We'll get you plugged in and going from there. Susie, keep keep it on a first name basis. Now, click the button below uh, to be taken to the group now. So here's the last micro commitment at this point. I've got a very well qualified prospect now. I've got somebody that's going through the paces to get to this point. So if she clicks on proceed to the group, there she is. I'll bring her in here. Here's somebody else that came in a minute ago, but she would end up in the Telegram group right here, and then we're ready to go. We're ready to chat with her and help her interact and, and build her business, okay? So I am not going to go through the other piece of this at the moment where I show you the, the no path where they go there, but basically I'm asking them, you know, up front where they made that decision and they got to that point. I already know their first name, but they got to that point of deciding to go look at the team build group and go further that route or no i think i'm going to walk away well then i say hey can i interest you in a free gift before you leave if they say yes then i ask them for their contact email address to send it to and then what happens is i go give them a free item of value as the first email in my long-term list and i've stuck them over in a funnel and at any time at that point they could decide they want to unsubscribe or whatever i don't care but this is capitalizing on the no's, the people that say no to your business, you give them another path so you don't just lose it, okay? You don't lose the lead, you give them another avenue. Now, if they had said, no, that's okay, then I tell them, okay, thank you. And right before I end the chat, I ask them, you know, would they mind sharing it? And they get social sharing buttons to share it out. They might do that too. And if not, the chat bot ends, they walk away, I never hear from them again. That's fine, don't care. I've chosen a path to send them, I've segmented them, and now, all I had to do was spend that 30 seconds to a minute creating that video, sending this email out to each of those paid leads that are in there. And I literally, you know, I have one guy that responded back to me that I don't, you guys can't do this. Okay. If you do this, you're just going to run people off, but let's, let me just show you as an example. So the guy thanked me. And sorry if I'm calling this guy out here, but you know, he thanked me for the video and stuff. But he says, please consider joining my primary business. No, I don't know who the hell you are. We've not talked. Thank you for the free gift. The best response would have been, hey, this is what I'm doing in my business. Thanks for reaching out to me. 
don't pitch me. Don't pitch me on your business. I will never look at this link. Why? Because this guy has no interest in building a rapport with me other than, hey, that's great. Go look at my thing. Look at my flashy item. If he had said, hey, thanks for sending that to me. Here's what I'm doing. I, you know, I, uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Here's a free gift. Okay, that's cool. You're not pitching me on something. You're, you're telling me it's free. But as soon as you tell me to consider joining your primary business, I don't know you. <laughs> so stop doing it. So don't do that, people. Don't respond that way. Don't do that kind of thing. Keep it personal. Keep it personalized when you're reaching out to these people so that, that if you keep it on a personal level, you can choose how much automation you want to put into that. You can decide if you just want to give them something for free, but make contact with them. Let them know you're a real person, not somebody that lands over here in the spam bucket. Okay? Because I'll tell you what's going to happen. If, if somebody comes along and they just pitch you, they hard sell you and pitch you, they're going to end up over here. I'm either going to mark them as spam or somebody else is going to mark them as spam. And then as they reach out to these other leads, then their email reputation is crap. Okay? And delivery to the inbox is the most important. That's 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 where it starts. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Like I said, I'm going to put some resources down below in the description. Um, if you've got the ability to to do this, um, if you wanted to pick up the Dub platform, you can. You can do these videos like this. I've got the app on my phone. I can do it. Um, I can create a video and record it here with my screen. And then you get all the analytics behind this. So you get... Let me come over here and show you. You can see exactly who, you know, if they opened your email, you could go find out if they've watched the video, if they've clicked on your call to action button. So you can find out the people that have done stuff for these videos. And you'll see some of them have not opened them. And then I've got other ones that have, that have actually taken action on it and done stuff to go look at it. Like this one opened the email five times. And, um, you know, they watched the video, they clicked on the button, and I've actually heard back from that person. So I, I know they were interested. So very simple, easy way to do that. It's a good way to, to lower the gate. You don't have to do the chat bot thing. You could just have a button in there that says, hey, leave me a message or send me an email reply. Just use it as a filter. If you don't want to use a chat bot at all, you don't want to use video at all. Keep a very low key email, kind of like what I did. See how you can help them and try and get that conversation started. Don't sell them, don't pitch them, just talk to them. If you'll do that, I promise you, I promise you, the reward of that business growing and your team growing at that point, it, it'll be astronomical. If you start hard selling somebody, it's gonna be exactly what you would expect, somebody that does that to you. They go in a spam bucket or you never do anything, okay? You guys take care, I hope this is helpful, I'll talk to you soon.